Welcome to the channel uh, RIK Learner for uh, JE Mains and Advanced. A smooth ring P of mass M can slide on a fixed horizontal rod. A string tied to the ring passes over a fixed pulley and carries a block Q of mass m by 2 as shown in the figure at an instant the string between the ring and the pulley makes an angle 60 degree with the rod the initial acceleration of the ring is so this is the question and for which we are having a drawing and four options so now what they asked is the initial acceleration of the ring right so initial acceleration of the ring here is the ring so for this ring we have to find how much is the initial acceleration well so i take it in two parts one is for the ring and another is for this uh, block which is connected through uh, this rope okay so a thread a string whatever you call so now I simply say that there is a single tension in this rod I mean uh, this wire right so here since the block is uh, suspended looking suspended right so its weight is acting downward its weight is acting downward like this you know this is uh, the weight uh, I call the way mass of this one as a some M for simplicity. Let it be. Otherwise, finally I use capital letter M is equals small letter M divided by two. So this is M G. So this is the weight. And here there is a tension in the thread that is T. Since it is said the mass is a uh, accelerated downward. Okay, so as soon as it is released, no doubt the ring moves forward. Okay, the net acceleration downward is M block. Right, so now what I use here uh, for the block, okay, so for uh, the block, for the block, I simply write uh, the net force which is acting downward is uh, M A block that must be is equals m g minus t t is the tension in the thread which is acting upward how we can write for uh, an expression for t right so t is uh, equal to it is m g minus m a block okay so this is how i can easily write so now just uh, think that uh, for the ring okay so the ring you look about the ring when the mass m capital which is here is released this thread will pull this uh, ring in uh, this manner and it will move like this you know? so this is how the linear acceleration of the ring appears so this is linear acceleration of the ring now acceleration of the thread is what that should be found okay so since we assume the ring is a uh, very small the acceleration of uh, this uh, thread okay yeah the acceleration of the thread acceleration of uh, the thread is equal to acceleration of the block right so acceleration of uh, the block and this must be is equals here is theta that is 60 degree okay so i call this is theta 60 degree uh, it will be just like this you know? this is a, a ring and here is uh, the thread and here is uh, the angle theta and this component will move with an acceleration uh, a ring cos theta right so this is nothing but acceleration of the thread so you can equate this one with this okay so acceleration of the thread 
is equal to acceleration of the block and that is equals acceleration of uh, this multiplied by cos theta that is how we have to think now i simply use that one here okay so but what i can write acceleration of the block is equal to uh, acceleration of the ring uh, multiplied by cos theta so then what happens to this equation this is simply m g minus right it is m into a ring into cos theta this is how i can write and i call this equation one so now <coughs> think about the ring okay so ring only so here is uh, the ring if we assume the ring is here okay so the tension is acting like this in the thread and uh, the acceleration of the ring is along this line that is a ring the mass of the ring is uh, m and here is the angle theta right so now what i use uh, the component of t along this direction is uh, t cos theta okay therefore t cos theta must be is equals it is m a ring okay i call this equation 2 so now use this equation in equation 1 so t cos theta is m a ring t is here right uh, but uh, what we we got but from 2 what we got you know from 2 it is t cos theta is equals m a ring right so for that reason i say you one thing uh, this one multiply equation one by cos theta so then what happens it is t cos theta is equals it is m g cos theta minus m a ring cos square theta so now use equation one here right so using one in this in this what you can say so this is equal to right so this one is equal to <coughs> i simply put uh, this is a uh, nothing but a m a ring that is equals m g cos theta minus m a ring cos square theta right now what actually we are having we are having this condition m capital is m divided by 2 right so therefore what i can do here i can simply say that m a ring is equal to m divided by 2 g theta is 60 degree right into so cos 60 is a half minus m divided by 2 a ring into cos square cos 60 is half and its square is 1 by 4 so i cancel the letter m on every side so then what i left with a ring is equal to it is a g divided by 4 minus it is a ring divided by 8 okay now i have to solve this one so this will be it is a ring minus otherwise it is plus when i bring this one on this side it is a ring divided by 8 is equals g divided by 4 so when i take a ring as common and this becomes 9 divided by 8 a ring is equals g divided by 4 else what i can write a ring is equal to it is 8 divided by 9 multiplied by g by 4 so as soon as i solve this one i get a ring is equal to since here is 4 and here is 8 this becomes 2 so it is 2 divided by 9 multiplied by g this is the answer 
so acceleration of the ring is 2 by g 9 so answer is expressed in terms of acceleration due to gravity right so just observe it is 2 by 9 g that should be your answer for this question right so the acceleration of uh, uh, this ring which is moving here so this is equal to 2 divided by 9 g so 2 divided by 9 g is yeah option c is correct